people had really campaigned for women's rights for many, you know, many years, even in the 1890s. Suffrage was a, was a big topic, and it had never really gone very well here in Montana. Um, and finally, in 1914, there were many, many, many women who campaigned just wholeheartedly for that all over the state. And Jeanette Rankin probably put in more miles than, than most did. Belle Weinstein of Helena met Jeanette Rankin and was very, very taken with her and they became good friends. And so when Jeanette was elected to Congress in 1916 and went to Washington, Belle Weinstein went with her, went to Washington with Jeanette as her secretary, her pri private secretary, and also as her ghost writer. And so she wrote some of Jeanette's speeches. She wrote a column, a newspaper column, uh, under the pen name of Jeanette Rankin. When Bell returned uh, to Helena and was married, during the Depression, she ran for Senate herself for the Montana Senate. She didn't win, but she did run under the slogan, Smaller But Better Senators. Her sister, Frida, also was just an incredible, incredible woman. The great tragedy is that she never married and she had no heirs and no students really to carry on her work. In the 1940s, the Air Force Base at Great Falls really sort of became a conduit for African American people coming into the state. One of the wives of those uh, airmen was Geraldine Travis, who in 1972 was the first African American uh, elected to the House of Representatives here in Montana.